The thing I'm most interested in is for businesses, what are the dynamics of competition and how do things tend to work out? So like, how can we match patterns in our head of like, if we do X, then Y will probably happen. Mm -hmm. It's almost like business strategy is less about like a planning process. And it's more about what you're talking about during the planning process. You know, it's Mm -hmm. like um, planning process is like a management technique more than a strategy technique almost. Sure. And then the actual strategy comes out of like, okay, cool. Like there's this thing called a network effect. Like, does that apply here? There's this thing called bundling. Does that apply here? Like what are the economic realities that like could cause us to succeed or fail in our goal? Yeah, it's almost thinking about it in terms of like feedback loops or reciprocal loops and understanding yours as it applies to your business, which is something I've been fascinated on. I mean, you know, it feels like every business that's been successful has been able to clearly articulate what that feedback loop is. Like, you know, we acquire customers because of X, that then helps us acquire more customers because of Y, which helps us achieve this profitability and scale, you know, because of Z. And if you can figure that out for your business, I think that's a great exercise in in really understanding and chewing on the uncomfortable questions of like, what are we doing and what aren't we doing? You know, why are we doing that? And and why do we, why should we have the confidence and approach this as if this is the right approach? And what are we hoping to get out the other, you know, the other side of that? I think a good analogy for this, because I'm realizing it's, it's kind of fuzzy in my own head. I need to, I need to figure out a better way of articulating it would be like, let's say like, in, in, in football or something like that. Right. Like there's like an overall planning process of like, Oh, like the coaches have a meeting and then like the coach calls the play and like the quarterback kind of like executes the play. And like, that's sort of like a management thing. But then the reality is of like, what is the defense? Like, what are their strengths and weaknesses? Like how fast are their players? What alignment are they, are they set up in? What is like their expectation of us? Probably based on history, we can assume maybe they've watched some of our film. All of those dimensions are like what people are thinking about in the moment when they're Mm -hmm. deciding on what play to call or how to execute a play or how to plan. And like, it's all that. That's like the content of strategy rather than the process of strategy. That's the stuff that I'm interested in. It's just that instead of like, you know, for football, you're like, oh, their safeties are really fast. So like, we need to be careful when we throw out there. It's like, this business is hard to compete with because they have like a network effect. And so we need to understand that. But it's more about like the causality of success and failure for businesses than it is about like strategy per se. And the strategy is just like, it's almost like a red herring where it's like, what I'm really interested in is less so strategy and more so business. It's just like business yeah. strategy is like the art of like making decisions, I guess, in, in business. And like, if you make them well, then, then, then the business succeeds. And of course it's more complicated than that. You have to execute them well and all this and, and, yes. and people management is a huge thing. And there's a huge creative component and all this stuff. But like at some level there is like the company chooses what to do. Right. And if you choose well, then you'll do well. Subscribe to outliers with Daniel Scrivener now in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you like to listen to podcasts. And be the first to hear about new episodes and receive exclusive content by joining our newsletter at outliers.fm. I can't wait to help you level up and live your best life.